These are basically the primaries. And of course we have white, yellow, red, ultramarine blue, and cerulean blue. Oh, so I'll take a little bit of yellow and I'm using uh, Gamsol here just to thin it down a little bit. That and then I'll take some red on the other end and mix it the other way. And then you see you get kind of a that orange effect there. So now I have a broad range of color that I can choose from. Whether I want it to be more yellow, middle orange, or more of a red orange. It saves a lot of time rather than just mixing one big puddle. All right, so now let's mix some of the blues together, the yellows and the blues. So you'll see what I was talking about earlier. If I mix some yellow here, and then I mix some ultramarine blue. Add a little more yellow on this side. Okay. Now watch what happens when I mix that yellow and that cerulean blue. I'm just cleaning my brush here. Okay, grab some more of this yellow. Thin it down just a little bit. Some of the cerulean, a little bit more. There you go. Now you can see the difference in that green compared to the French ultramarine blue, which is more of a an olivey type green. And that's because of the red that's in that French ultramarine, you can see. So you're gonna see that more in nature. You're gonna see more of this olive color. All right, so now we're gonna mix this red with the French ultramarine blue. Thin it down just a little bit. Now we're gonna mix this red with the cerulean blue. Okay. Now with this purple, sometimes it's hard to see the variation in the color. So when you add a little bit of white to it, then it shows up better. Look at this wide range of color that I'm getting here. Just by laying it out like this. It's like having a box of crayons to choose the color you want rather than guessing which one you want. All right, so let's see if I can show. Yeah, let me add some white to this. One more white. There you go. Okay, so if you're trying to get like a nice bright, uh, bright purple, this is the way to go, the French ultramarine, because remember it has that red in it. To tone down that area that's too bright, you want to mix some of this complement into it. So what we would do for orange, the complement would be blue. So you can see it starts knocking the color down a little bit. Let me put a little more blue in there. Okay, now if it starts getting too green, the complement of green is red, right? So look at those beautiful colors that we're already getting. Add a little white to it to increase it a little bit more. And you'll notice I keep mixing away from it because I want all these beautiful colors to choose from. So just like that. So let's do uh, let's do this purple here, okay? So the complement of purple is yellow. So you can see, 
we can go in that direction, get more of a greenish, or we can go this way and get more of an orangey color. Okay. And then if we go around this way, we basically got a little color wheel almost going on here. There we go. Okay. All right, so I thought I'd show you a little bit of color matching. So we're gonna match this color swatch here that's on the palette. So what I would do is uh, pick something that just gets the ball rolling. Looks kind of purple to me. And we're gonna raise the value a little bit. Now, you see how this is more purple than this swatch? But if you squint at it, it's about the same value. So the complement of purple would be yellow. So we're gonna add a little yellow in there. Okay. It's pretty close, but it's getting kind of green. So we're gonna add the complement of green, which is red. Now you can tell I'm adding probably too much color here. So I gotta watch it. Okay, so squint at it, it's kind of red, so we want it to be more blue, a little lighter. There we go, now we're getting close. Squint at it, that's pretty close. I mean, if we wanted to, we could add a little more yellow in there maybe. All right, that's pretty close. All right, so let's do one more. All right, so we got this next swatch here. So remember, always clean your brush really well because you don't want any bit of that leftover color getting in and uh, messing up the new color you're trying to mix. All right, so obviously we know this is gonna start with blue. And to me, it looks kind of like a, a warm blue. So I think I want to start with the French Ultramarine. And as you can tell, it's the value is way darker. So we're going to have to lighten it quite a bit. Squint at it. And you can tell that it needs a little bit of yellow because it needs some green in there. And yellow and blue make green, as we know. There we go. And I see a little bit of red in there also, so just a slight little bit of red. All right, there we go. All right, it's pretty close. Squint at it. Looks about right. It could go a little bit lighter maybe on one end. Let's see. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, so we're gonna do one more swatch here. Hopefully you're not getting too much glare there with that color, but uh, let's see what we can come up with. Remember, clean your brush, get all that color out of there so we don't contaminate the next color we're gonna make. All right, so we'll start with the closest color to what we're trying to get to. So with that, it seems like it's yellow to me. So I'm gonna add some yellow. Okay, now it's way too bright. Now what's the complement of yellow? Because we want to tone it down. That would be purple. So purple would be red and blue. So we're gonna mix a little bit of blue, a little bit of red. Okay, now that's pretty dark, so we're gonna add some white to it. Okay, now we're gonna add that to our yellow. Let's get a little bit more. There we go. Squint at it. Now well, it's pretty close, but it's a little lighter. So let's add a little more white to it. Now white will cool a color down. Just keep that in mind. 
That's pretty close. It's still a little hot, so let's make it a little bit more, add a little more white to it. All right, now it's getting too light, so we have this little puddle here. We'll add some more into there, and there we go. Now we're there. Now, a lot of this is trial and error. I mean, you try it, but once you figure out the formula, that all you need to do is add complements, and what complement is what on the color wheel, then the whole uh, the whole process becomes much, much easier. All right, so here's the color wheel. We're gonna make a quick color wheel. So we have yellow. We have red. And we have blue. Okay. So when we mix blue and red, we get purple. But see, see how dark you can get with just that red and that ultramarine blue? Well, it's pretty close to black. And if you want like a, a dark black, you just add a little yellow in there and you'll get a rich black. But to see this, I'm gonna add a little white to it so we can see it. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna add some yellow and red. We're gonna make orange. There we go. Now we're gonna take yellow and blue and we're gonna make green. So we have the primaries, which are yellow, red, and blue, and the secondary colors, which is orange, purple, and green. And that's a basic color wheel. So, so whenever you're mixing color and a color's too bright or you can't quite get that right color you're looking for, you're trying to make a neutral color, you want to look for the complementary colors. So what are the complementary colors? They're the ones opposite on the color wheel. So blue, the complement of blue would be orange. The complement of green would be red. And the complement of purple is yellow. So again, if, you're, if your color you're mixing is too red, Tone it down with some green and you'll get, it'll neutralize it. The same thing with uh, orange and blue and uh, you'll get the color you're looking for. So what we're gonna do, I guess we'll do, we could do like a little study here. Let's try it. So we're gonna take purple and yellow. See how that neutralizes that? Then we're gonna take red and green a little bit more there we go okay and then we're going to take blue and orange you see how each one almost has a brown look to it it's neutralizing it See that? Color is so beautiful. Okay, so let's see what happens when we start adding, when we start introducing white into these different mixtures. So let's see. Alrighty. You can get all these very subtle variations in the color. I like I like how that looks, so let's do that. Let's mix this this way. 
Okay, let's add some white over here. This is the fun part. This is when you start mixing it and you surprise yourself. You're like, whoa, look at that color. Look at look at that neat neutral, that uh that interesting green or that cool purple. And then especially when you're plein air painting and you get a certain certain range of colors that um almost speak to each other. It's very it's very neat. It's a very neat uh, process. See all those different variations of colors and shades and values that you can get. I hope this helps your process and helps you learn a little bit about color. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments because I'd be happy to uh, respond and, and let you know my thoughts. Anyways, this is how I do it and um, hopefully it helps you. Have a great day painting and uh, God bless you. Bye-bye.